Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video and it is the 31st of May. So very briefly in our members area on Wave5 Trade stock signals, our members get the option for long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame, short fifth wave trades and stochastic longs and stochastic shorts. So I've First time today I've chosen stochastic shorts. Um, I've not really uh, covered those in any of the videos so far, so I thought I'd uh, give those a go today. So in our members area, each day as you can see, we can open up and we can download the spreadsheet for today. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today for stochastic shorts. So these are on mainly intraday. We do do some dailies as well, but these are uh, 15, 30 and 60 minute time frames. I've chosen one at random, A, um, the ticker A on the 30 minute time frame. So let's have a look at the chart. Now this is no coincidence. This is the 30 minute chart for A and the stochastic has pulled back against our false breakout yellow line here. Now that's wanting to return to uh, the oversold zone here because this, the main bearish move is on at the moment. It's pulled back against it and it wants to return. It's like an elastic band. Now, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade for the Think or Swim platform, but it is available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multi Charts. Now, I've isolated the wave count here just to show you that even on a 30 minute here, with this big move and a pullback against that move, we've had a wave four. So not only have we got a stochastic indication for a short on the 30 minute time frame, this is a fifth wave uh, move as well. So this is a very high probability uh, trade here if we can get through below the entry. So first of all, I've isolated for those users that have got uh, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, I've isolated the wave count up here at the high. Um, and then all the the, uh, the indicator suite has automatically labeled the Elliott wave count one two three four and we want to trade the fifth wave so let's zoom in on this and look at the strategy for entering this so we've got a really decent risk reward here so we can go quite conservative remember stocks do tend to gap a little bit at the open so we want to leave a little bit of a gap here we we could be aggressive uh, this was the close yesterday. We could be aggressive at 62.43 uh, to enter this, but we've got to allow for a little bit of leeway at the beginning of the session. First of all, we've got the 5.35 oscillator, which is part of our indicator suite, pulled back between 90 and 140%. We've got the again. We've got the stochastic. This is where the original signal came from, from our signals membership there on the stochastic scanner. So that's pulled back against the yellow dots here on the bottom. These yellow dots um, represent false breakouts of the oversold zone there. So it's a strong bearish move. It's pulled back against it, crossed over in the overbought zone, and in theory now we're looking for this to return. So we're looking for that short. Now, to help us with that, we've now labeled the Elliott wave count on this 30 minute time frame for the ticker A, Agilent Technologies Inc.com. So, all I've done is set this up very, very basically. We've got an automated target zone here in blue with the Elliott wave indicator suite. The wave four, this pullback here, has found resistance in the green zone. That's an 85% probability. Um, if we start to move away from there, and we should look for a new wave five low there. So entry for me, I've gone quite conservative. Uh, I've gone for a 62.27 entry short on the 30 minute time frame for A. And then the stop loss is a little bit above the wave four high there. So around about 63.12 is what we're looking for for the stop loss there and the the target zone it's around about 60 80 so we've got a great risk reward of one to two into the the bottom end of that target zone there so again this came from our stock signals membership which is only 97 dollars a year and it's from the stochastic um, part of that membership but also i've used our elliott wave indicator suite on the think or swim platform just to show you these stochastics are tied in with these Elliott Wave counts. So intraday, we've got this bearish trend. It's pulled back against it, 
on a wave four and we're looking for that fifth wave move down to around about 60 80 60 70 so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow